टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेवॉप्स लाइफ साइकिल फॉर बिजनेस एजिलिटी वी नो दैट डेवॉप्स डिफाइन्स एन एजाइल रिलेशनशिप एजाइल रिलेशनशिप मीन्स एबल टू मूव क्विकली एंड ईजीली दट मीन्स द ऑपरेशन कैन बी परफॉर्म वेरी ईजीली एंड फास्टली बिटवीन द ऑपरेशन एंड डेवलपमेंटिंग एंड इट इज अ प्रैक्टिस दट इज प्रैक्टिस बाय द डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑपरेशनल इंजीनियर्स टुगेदर फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग टू द एंड ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट there are there are total seven steps in Deve- devops life cycle first development integration testing monitoring feedback deployment and operations all these done all these are done in continuous way first let us discuss all these in brief one by one first let us discuss about continuous development continuous development involves planning and coding of the software it involves planning and coding of the software the vision of the project is decided during the planning phase and the developers beginning developing the code here the code is written for the application and there are no devops tools required in this phase but to maintain this code there are some tools required the second phase of devops life cycle is continuous integration and this stage is the heart of the entire devops life cycle this development practice in the devops re- developers commit changes to the source code more frequently that means they always checks the checks the code and commit changes to the source code and this process may be done daily or on weekly basis when every commit is built and this allows early detection of the problems if they are present building code not only involves compilation but it also includes unit testing unit testing integration testing and code review and also packaging the code supporting new functionality is continuously integrated with the existing code that means after testing if any errors occur then the code is integrated with the already existed code therefore there is continuous development software so this continuous development code the and the updated code needs to be interchanged continuously so we need continuous integration and continuous development the process goes like this first develops a code then commits then commits the build then again build that code then test the code then stage the code then after deploys the code to the production team in continuous integration we use jenkins as a tool this is a popular tool used in this phase whenever there is a change in the git repository then jenkins fetches the updated code and prepares a build of that code then this build is forwarded to the test server or production server now let us discuss about continuous testing after the continuous integration the code is forwarded to continuous testing this phase where the developed software is continuously testing for bugs where in this in testing phase the developers test for bugs for constant testing automation testing are used automation testing tools are used such as test ng j unit selenium etc test ng j unit and selenium etc are used and these tools allows quality assurance quality assurance to test multiple code bases thoroughly and parallelly in this phase docker containers can be used for simulating the test environment selenium in continuous testing the selenium tool will do the automation testing after that automation testing of selenium the test reports were generated by this test ng tool this entire testing phase can automate the, with the help of continuous integration and this tool is called jenkins we know that already in continuous integration jenkins test jenkins tool is used okay now let us discuss why this automation testing or why this continuous testing this automation testing saves a lot of time and effort for executing the tests instead of doing this manually this means if we do this testing process manually it takes a lot of time but while doing with this automation testing we let we will save save a lot of time apart 
apart from that report generation is a big plus that means man if we do this all this process testing manually that report generation will not be done but when we do this testing automation the report generation is done by itself what is report generation a report generation is a comprehensive document that details the execution and results of automated test cases and let us discuss another pro another steps in the next class thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe for more videos keep watching the lectures